Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from grayflorals.com and today I have a fun bright colored layout to share with you that was actually inspired by this washi tape set that I have from Freckled Fawn. I've had it for a really long time and I knew I wanted to use a bunch of them for this page. So those are my color picks for this particular spread. We've got blues, teals, oranges, and I really wanted to use some of this summertime ephemera that's been sitting in my stash for a long time. We've got some Echo Park, some fancy pants, and then some Ellie Studio pieces here. And my traveler's notebook is getting very, very thick. So I tried to use my tiny attacher to hold it down because even a binder clip is not a good choice because of how thick it is, but I still make it work in the end. But when I start going through the washi tapes here, I knew I needed to use the orange to tie in the orange from the left side, but I really just wanted to create a little shelf for my photo to sit on. Now this 3x4 photo is actually me at the pool and not at the beach. If you guys have been following along or if you're over on Patreon, you know that I'm going through my Autumn Traveler's Notebook right now from last year and really trying to finish it up, which it has since been finished. I posted over on Instagram about the finished book, but I am still uploading some of the process videos to catch up in the meantime. So what I end up doing is tearing a bunch of the washi tape strips and trying to alternate pattern color. So we start with a dot, then a grid, then the camera pattern, and then just a horizontal stripe. And then I go back to the grid because it is the only bright orange color I have in this set. And then I also try to see if I want to add in any of these acetate pieces I pulled out from Heidi's swap collection from my stash. Just to add a little bit of variety and something a little bit different. What I did really like was that the die cuts I'm using from Ellie Studio are from a punch out sheet. So the one I have, which is that little label is really nice. I have the one that says in the pool, which I had to use on this layout because I don't take many photos at the pool very often. Usually I'm focused on having fun and keeping my phone away from the water. So the fact that I had one from this trip made me definitely want to use that. And uh, it's been sitting on my desk for a while. So I thought the in the pool sentiment was perfect. And I did want to add a little bit of dimension and a little bit more of that bright blue color that's in the title piece there from Echo Park. And these tiles that are the camera, again, repeating that camera imagery. And then the sun and the cloud are from LA Studio as well. And those are like these very thin chipboard pieces. And I really liked them because they're perfect for a traveler's notebook. They're not too thick. They're the perfect thickness. I didn't have to worry about it, especially since this traveler's notebook is already a bit chunky. I didn't worry about adding a couple more pieces towards the end of my book. To add a second pop of orange color on the right hand side, I pull in a Lawn Fawn 6x6 paper pad. It's actually a wood grain pattern, but the pattern didn't matter as much as the color in this scenario because I wanted the photo to pop and to coordinate with all of the oranges that I have going on on this page because there are quite a few different shades, but that's what's nice about orange and similar colors is you can get away with mixing and matching shades. Um, because it doesn't matter nearly as much as the act of adding a bright color itself. So once I have that layer done, I add one more strip of washi tape above my photo, and that's the last piece of that vertical stripe that showcases all the different blue shades. Again, just to bring in that element, repeating elements is the perfect way to make your page feel more cohesive. The last emblem on the right hand side will be those sunglasses. Those are the perfect summer motif. I don't care what anybody says. I will never get over using sunglass stickers, sunglasses on cardstock pieces or acetate pieces like this one. Absolutely love it. Here on the left hand side what I decide to do is actually do the same method of creating a shelf but this time doing a vertical one which is a little bit different but it makes everything feel a little bit less floaty. Um, so if you ever feel like something's not grounded on your page, try a shelf, horizontal or vertical. Um, but I really, really enjoyed putting this one here and adding diagonal stripes on this side because they point to the right hand side. That's just the way the diagonal stripe is going. So it works out perfectly. And then I also get to use up the last bits of some of the washi strips I had ripped for the right hand side, including the dot and including the camera. So it's a nice way to add that emblem again. So now I have cameras in three spots. So it really, really just works out for me. Now I do end up pulling a washi tape strip from somewhere else. Um, this is actually a Heidi Swap one from a kit from a while ago. And I thought that light blue color added a lot, especially since it's similar to the title piece on the left hand side here, Hello Sunshine from Echo Park. So I really wanted to bring in a little bit more of that light teal. So that was a perfect way to do it. 
and I also glued down all of the pieces I had pulled out so that includes this little vibes acetate piece on the left hand side I also included a second label underneath the in the pool round segment because I thought it would just add a little bit more movement and create a little home for this vibes piece to finish off this page, I wanted to include some phrase stickers. I've been back on my phrase sticker game. I used to love putting them on every layout, and I want to get back to that because I have a lot, and I want to start using them. So I go for the light teal color again to add that pop, and add a few of them here and there. Um, these are just generic sayings. I wish I had some summer ones, but I didn't in this particular color, so I just add a couple here and there, and that little splash of gold will add a little bit of movement to the page. But I hope you guys enjoyed this summer layout with me. Let me know what you guys think. A lot of washi tape on this page, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that and get some inspiration to use washi tape on your pages. But make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future process videos. And I will see you guys again very, very soon with the next one. Thanks for watching!